In question number 55, it is given there are 16 observations and their mean is 16. So we can assume those observations as x1, x2, x3 till x16. And here i will vary from 1 to 16. So we can see this is the mean of 16 observation and this is 16. So the sum of all the observation is going to be 16 into 16 that is 256. Now further in the question it is given the data of 16 is deleted and these three data are added further. So this sum will change as 256 minus 16 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And this is going to be 252. And now we can see the new sum is going to be 252 and the number of observation is this is total 16 minus 1 15 and plus these three that is total 18 observation. And hence the new mean that is sigma capital XI upon 18 that is 252 upon 18 equals 14 and hence the correct answer is 2. In this question we have to evaluate this integral that is 2 to 4 log x square upon log x square plus this expression. We can see this is nothing but the perfect square of 6 minus x or x minus 6. So this can be written as i equals 2 to 4 log x square upon log x square plus log x minus x whole square dx. Now we are applying the property a to b fx dx equals a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. After applying this property, this integral will become 2 to 4 and since we are evaluating a plus b that is 6 and minus x. So this will become log 6 minus x whole square upon log 6 minus x whole square plus we are putting x as 6 minus x and this will become minus x whole square that is nothing but log x square. We can assume this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now we will add the two equation to get i plus i that is 2i and on the right hand side this is 2 to 4 and when we will add the two integrand the LCM is same and you can see now the numerator is again log x square plus log 6 minus x the whole square which is going to be same as denominator. So this will become 1 times dx and now this is going to be 2 and from here we can see i is 1 and hence the correct answer is 1. In this question number 57, alpha and beta are given to be the roots of this equation and a n is an expression which is given by alpha raised to the power n minus beta raised to the power n where n is greater than or equal to n. 1. We have to find out the value of this expression. We can see here a 10. a 10 is going to be alpha raised to the power 10 minus beta raised to the power 10 minus 2 times 8 that is alpha raised to the power 8 minus beta raised to the power 8 upon we can see this is 2 times a 9 and this is going to be 2 times alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9. Since alpha is the root of this equation so we can write alpha square minus 6 alpha minus 2 equals 0. Now if we will multiply this expression by alpha raised to the power 8 this will give us alpha to the power 10 minus 2 alpha raised to the power 8 equals 6 alpha ki power 9. And similarly, we have a relation beta n that is beta raised to the power 10 minus 2 beta raised to the power 8 equals 6 beta raised to the power 9. Now in the numerator, we can see this is alpha raised to the power 10 minus 2 alpha raised to the power 8. And here alpha raised to the power 8, 10 minus 2 alpha raised to the power 8 is 6 alpha ki power 9. So this expression will become 6 times alpha raised to the power 9. And similarly for the part beta, this is going to be 6 beta raised to the power 9 upon 2 times alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9 and this will cancel out to give us 3 and hence the correct answer is 1.
द हिस्टोरिकल रिजल्ट एवर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एनी कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया द मोमेंट वे आर इमोशंस स्पीक्स लाउडर देन वर्ड्स landmark achievements of our students in 2014 yet another proof of leadership allen career institute path to success